Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here, about to give you another Mortal Kombat X video. In this video we talk about patch 1.3, which just got released on Wednesday, July 8th. New combat challenges, Flaming Fist, Liu Kang, Piercing Molina, and Heavy Weapons Jax are all making their way to combat in this update. Will you have what it takes to defeat these new upcoming challenges in Mortal Kombat? And from the depths of Netherrealm, Quan Chi's dark magic has resurrected some of Earth's greatest fighters and turned them into evil, undead warriors for you to command. Check out the new Revenant characters available in the Netherrealm pack. And continue the carnage, a field of towers have been added to the single player battles. Look for them in the brand new map added to the battlegrounds. Don't leave home without them. We all know it's important to give your fighters the edge they need to claim victory, and nothing gives you the upper hand more than equipment. We've added an equipment pack, making it easier to power up your combatants like never before. Deck out your team with buffs to attack, health, power generation, and more. So we're going to open up Mortal Kombat X for the first time since we've updated to patch 1.3. So I was doing a Diablo live stream for over four hours on Twitch. If you missed it, check out the highlights. We actually level up a barb from 57 to 70 in hardcore. So, complete a challenge mode tower. It looks like they added new achievements. We're going to go do our daily bonus as we forgot to log in, so we're back down to day one. So levels up a special one, a bronze tier character. And we have a possessed Kenshi finisher. And combat pack sale will be ending soon. Take advantage of this deal while it still lasts. And we got some friend invites. Unlock console reward. Which is 20,000 coins, so it looks like one of the console rewards got fixed. And people accepting friend invites. So currently we're almost at 50,000 alliance points to get towards that. We're going to see what console unlock actually work now. So 20,000 coins would have to be performing five brutalities, as we've done that a long time ago. The first thing we're going to do is look into the store, and as you see... Nether Realm pack contains three gold cards, Revenant Sub-Zero, Revenant Jax, and Quan Chi. So that is not the same Quan Chi that you would get for Warlock Quan Chi, which is a still a combat pack exclusive. And you can't even look up the stats of them. So there's still four combat pack exclusives. Looking in, we're trying to see if there's any other new cards that you can get. Right off the bat, I'm not seeing anything that comes up. I'm not even seeing any other, like, silver Liu Kangs or anything like that. So it looks like all the new cards are within challenges and also the new card pack, the Nether Realm pack. So 850 combat coins to buy it or sold. So that means we will be buying a Dark Urn of Sorcerer King's Souls. So we're going to do that. That way we can actually purchase the Netherrealm pack. So we're going to go buy that right now. So do you want to buy one Dark Urn of Sorcerer King's Souls for $49.99? Yes. No, we don't want to buy a second one. So we got 850 souls. We're going to go buy the combat pack for the nether realm pack right now for 850 souls. So we get the Revenant Sub-Zero, 950 damage, 850 health, and he is in the nether realm class. Sub-Zero and his team gain 12% attack for every nether realm card on the team, so that would be 36% attack if you have three nether realms. Now there are only six available. So that's the Sub-Zero. Revenant Jax Briggs, who really doesn't look black there. Jax and his team gain 15% health for every Nether Realm card on the team. So 36% damage, 45% health. And the final card is a actually a Warlock Quan Chi, so that is not true that you can only get him from the combat pack. Apparently he's available from this pack as well. Reanimator reanimates a dead teammate with 25% health max once per fight. 950 damage, 1,200 health. Now keep in mind that there are actually more than three nether realms, so we're going to filter out all the non 
nether realm cards we're going to show you which ones are actually available keep in mind hybrids can count both ways as you see infernal scorpion is a cross nether realm and a martial artist so he can actually be used in both roles but revenant sub-zero can be used and warlock quan chi is no longer a combat pack exclusive this is how you buy him but the first Jax Briggs gold card is only available out of this pack, although there will be a challenge for it. So we're going to go into an earlier battle. Actually, I think we're going to do... Yeah, we're going to do an earlier battle. So we're going to go about here. Actually, we're going to show off the next page. There's the next page of towers. And this is the sixth tier of battle. So there's seven new battles all together and right away you can see that the cards ramp up quite a bit 9,876 damage 16,000 health and 20,000 in the second fight so you're going to be using a lot tougher cards you're actually going to have to promote some of your guys to be able to accomplish that so we're going to go I think we're going to start right here that might be a little bit too high we're going to start here and that's probably good so we're going to go put in these new cards so Warlock Quan Chi, Revenant Sub-Zero, and Revenant Jax Briggs. Quan Chi. So Warlock Quan Chi's level 2 move is called Portal Tricks. Skull Crusher is the super move. So 950 damage, 1,200 health, 1,100 toughness, 1,050 recovery. And he has that animator ability. So just really badass. He has really good stats overall. Even though some people hate Quan Chi, I really don't. Sub -Zero. So Revenant Sub Zero has a 3% health boost. I think he had like 850 or 860 base. 950 toughness, 800 recovery, and 36% attack for every Nether Realm card on the team. So kind of weak on the toughness and recovery, but still about middle of the pack. And base toughness obviously isn't factored in because of the Revenant bonus. Jax. And Jax's team gained 15% health, so he also has 3% health. So 1,000 toughness, only 680 recovery. So that is one thing to definitely take note. So we're going to use... I think we're going to use Jax Blitz first, even though he's got the worst stats. So we're going to put on... The Shrukin. We're going to give him the Hood. And we're going to give him for the offhand. We're going to give him the Dragon Essence. It doesn't look like he has a power drain. Oh, and the X ray move for yes. Jack Briggs, which you haven't seen, is the Bring It. And he obviously you can't get that until level 20. We will be doing a video on that down the road. So with Sub Zero, we're going to give him the Ice Daggers. We're going to give him the Brawler Glove. And we're going to give him the Bracer. Quan Chi. Quan Chi will also benefit a lot from toughness. We're going to give him the Soul Elixir. We're going to give him Riot Gear for health. Actually, I think we're going to give the Outworld Gear. That's a little bit more. And for a weapon... We are going to go with the sword. So we're going to do this full tower in its entirety. Actually, I think this is a little weak. I think we're going to go a little bit higher up. We're going to go right here. That should be fine. So as you can see, instead of... And it shows last online 20 days... So ally points refresh on player login. So I'm wondering if the amount of skulls actually shows how much damage they do now. And again, the reptile ability is probably the best one, followed by Sub-Zero. So we're going to try to do a couple tests with the skulls, and they did change it quite a bit. Fight. So there is Revenant Jack Briggs, who is black. <laughs> There's a couple combos there, and the Gotcha Beatdown is his level 1 move. Excellent. 
did get the 100%. That really didn't do a whole lot of damage. Keep in mind these cards are only level 1, so you can't really expect them. We're going to get in Revenant sub here to deal with Monk. And we're going to go the Ice Ball, which is still blocked for one man. Sarin comes in, spits on Sub Zero for 409. We're gonna go off another Ice Ball. Hits for 380 and free. So we're gonna go off the Gotcha Beatdown. This time we only hit 75. So Mug comes in. And Juan G comes in. Sky Crush only hit for 10 damage. We can't tell if that was blocked or not. So Monk will put Quan Chi immediately at one bar. Cassie K comes in. Sky Crush is blocked for 8 damage. We're going to go off the extension event and get rid of Cassie K. We'll see if we can actually how much damage it does. That just looks sexy, ripping her eyes out. 935 damage. That's pretty bad. Looks like the regeneration got slowed down quite a bit, but it could be because it's a low level card. So this time it actually connects. So it actually does some decent damage when it's not blocked, and Monk is going to hit Jack Grimm. So you got your beat down on Monk. Hits for 100%. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Sarian claws for 457, and the Ice Ball. Hits for 190. Sorry, and eliminated. That's blocked. Cassie Cage eliminated. Monk comes in, takes the Sky Crush. And Monk should be eliminated for the victory in the first fight. Ten thousand four hundred XP. And all the cards hit level four. Three hundred and seventy combat coins. One hundred alliance credits. In the second matchup, we have Ashtek, Reptile, and Sarian. All cards are level twenty-one. The outer cards have one promotion and bronze, and the middle card is silver. So now with these extra upgrades. It even shows last online seven hours. So I don't know why it said 20 hours and now seven. So level 50, it should be a lot more damage. And we'll have to try it out and see if allies really do suck now or if it's based on other factors. You even see loading in the bottom left corner. So already Jack's Brig doing a lot more damage with three levels. I got another gotcha beat now. Oh, to feel that. It's 2.15 now. Sub Zero and Sorry come in. Freeze on Sub Zero. Block for 304. Reptile comes in. Let's block 15. Sorry and comes in. Sky Crush again blocks. I need to learn this combo in the moves like that. Impressive. Ice Ball freezes, does not freeze. Hits for 304. And the ally attack again doesn't knock somebody out. So it seems like the ally attacks are a lot weaker now. 11,050 XP, 420 combat coins, 100 alliance credits, as all cards hit level 5. So now we'll be showing off some level 2 moves. Jax. So multi-slam is grapple high damage plus cripple. 535 to 764 at the first rank. So it looks like he has two grapple moves. So two unblockables is pretty cool. Sub and Revenant Sub-Zero's level 2 move is the Frost Hammer. High damage plus weak at 855 to 1710. A lot more damage. And Warlock Quan Chi's level Quan 2 move. Chi is the Coral Tricks, 855 to 1710, so it looks like the grapple move, because it's unblockable, does far less damage. So that could mean Jack Briggs is actually the worst of the three, and Sub-Zero could be the best, although I still like Quan Chi. 
even though some people say they don't. But that synergy with Infernal Scorpion can be really good. Fight. As I will buff up his attack as well. And pretty much sub quad key out, leave sub zero and Jackson and just buff up Scorpion, so he gets wiped out. Don't tell Khan is in. Pick up the multi slam. Specials are disabled. So Oshpet comes in. And some of the damage on that wasn't that great. Or just let Sub Zero take some hits. Hotel Khan comes in and hits with 687. Almost at two bars. Sub Zero almost wiped out. The animator will revive Sub Zero. So the Frost Hammer is a rapid tap. Impressive. It does wipe a lot. And we got the ally out. attack on Kotel Top. One thousand one hundred and fifty damage. They really made ally attacks terrible. 11,700 XP as the cards hit level 7. 470 combat coins, 100 alliance credits. So in the fourth matchup we have Trooper, Sonya Blade, and Sarge. And in the fifth fight we're actually going to swap out Quan Chi in favor of Scorpion just to show off the synergy with Jax and Sub-Zero. Fight! <laughs> We're going to have Quan Chi start off with the damage is ramping up quite a bit, even at level 7. So you can see allies are completely bad right now, so the main goal is to level up guys easily, do not upgrade. There's the portal trick, which is a double rapid tap. Hits for 2,090, but has that one hit point annoying factor, kind of like Katana's power game and Kotel Khan's moves in general. It basically allows you to get out. Sorry, and with the level 2 move, we're gonna have to wipe out Sonya Blade here. Now we're gonna go see We Are Many from Urban and see how bad the damage is. to be about half of an opponent's health. Pick off the Frost Hammer again, I'm sorry, and get rid of him. For the victory in the fourth fight. 12,350 XP, 520 combat coins, 100 alliance credits. So with Warlock Quan Chi having the worst synergy of the cards, we're going to put in Inferno Scorpion. I think we're just going to leave him like that. So we're going to give him Sub-Zero's Ice Daggers and the Brawler Gloves. We're also going to give him Bracers just for shits and giggles. So in the fifth matchup we have Lin Kuei, Scorpion, Scorpion, and Trooper. Infernal Scorpion gets 200 basic damage for 6 seconds, activates on tag. So he'll pretty much come in and wipe everybody out. Keep in mind, we also have the ability to... do 200% damage on Tagen with 36% damage, 45% health. <laughs> Look at that damage, and that's not even off a combo, just wiping everybody out. So as you see, Infernal Scorpion does gain a lot of value, as that wasn't even a swipe. 13,000 XP as Jax, Briggs, and Sub-Zero hit level 8. 570 combat coins, 100 alliance credits. And as you can see from the menu, there is no challenge available yet, but plan on it probably starting on Thursday. So we're going to change our champion to Jax. Revenant Jack Briggs, who is black. Just to kind of give people an idea that I actually have that card. So in the bonus missions, level up three character cards that you own. We're going to get rid of Test Your Might. And we end up getting three fights using a team of all bronze cards. 
which we can do in faction wars pretty easily. So there are still no changing picture or viewing stats. You can still change the faction, your profile name, or your champion. And there's still no way to actually check what your multiplayer ladder number is, but obviously if you just keep doing them. We're also going to go into multiplayer. Might actually open up a gear pack too. I think we will open up a couple. So we're going to open up the equipment pack. Contains three equipment cards, including a very rare chance of the epic wrath hammer. So we're going to open up one of these packs, and inside we receive brawler gloves, which increases basic damage from 19 to 20 percent at rank five. New forging screen. That's pretty cool. So the second item is a Shrukin, which is another one rank one item. So I like the little forging process, it's kind of like sawing somebody in half. So that's up to rank three and another brawler glove, so 70,000 coins for pretty much garbage. But you get an idea of what is actually in the equipment pack. So you can still have a chance of getting crap, but it's a good card coin dump when you're not trying to farm for Infernal or Injustice Scorpion Raiden or another card. So immediately in fight online, there's still only the one, three, five, or seven battles. And the leaderboards, obviously I'm only in the top 29%, but going into the top 7%, basically the reward system is the same, so they haven't changed anything there. If you like this video, summarizing patch 1.3, as well as getting Revenant Jax Briggs, Revenant Sub-Zero, and Warlock Quan Chi from the uber cool Nether Realm pack, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Mortal Kombat X videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. And have a wonderful day, kids, as it looks like buying the Nether Realm pack does not give you promotions on those cards. Jax. Subscribe, bitches!